Three, two, one. Pickles. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy Razor from RazorTube coming at you with another Rust Council edition video today. And before we get into today's topic, if you guys are new to the channel, drop that sub and like and hit that notification bell for the most up to date and recent Rust Council edition news. Now, anyways, with that being said, the secrets are unveiled and we're talking about the caboose the cards and slots and the scrap update that'll be hitting rust council for the playstation 4 playstation 5 xbox series x xbox one x and all the og consoles out there sometime in either the near future or the future in general because we've got clues on what double eleven is actually working on if you guys haven't noticed yet i'm here at the bandit camp and i wanted to point out a few things that maybe you haven't noticed and if you haven't played on the public testing branch obviously you can go ahead and get that on the microsoft or sony store and guess what once you get it you can see the future content that's going to be released onto the main branch on the ptb anyways let's get into it so a few changes have happened to the bandit camp and now i'm obviously doing this video on rust council edition usually i do it on pc but it's on the council edition because i got to show you the significant changes but when you go into the upstairs of the bandit camp, usually you got the gambling wheel, right? You sit down, you gamble, and boom, you're done. Well, guess what? I've noticed that there's been some significant changes and alterations to the back of this room. Usually there used to be a couple barrels and a couple guards back here, but now we see one guard and a poker table. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with the PC uh, side of Rust, on the or the Steam version of Rust, to refer to it better so you know what it is, guess what? On PC Rust, what you can do at Bandit Camp is you can gamble by playing te Texas Hold'em in a safe zone and try to earn more scrap from people around the map, which is pretty cool. Now, obviously this hasn't been implemented into the council yet, but you could tell that they're working on it and they're starting to put all the puzzle pieces together in order to put it into the game maybe soon so not only do they have it in this room they have it in the back as well this is the recycle room where you have a gu two recyclers and you got another poker table which is pretty cool another item that is going to be probably added and why this wall is so empty now is slot machines slot machines are a way for people to solos duos and trios to gamble right in order to play on the slot machines to gain more scrap. So we're going to be having a scrap update pretty soon by all these be being put into the game. They're going to roll this out probably sooner rather than later since they got all the pieces in place and they only got to add a few more things. I'm sure after the horses are done making their debut on the public testing branch, they're going to start to implement some of these pieces. With that being said, there's also some other things I'd like to point out. And I got to murk myself real quick. Hold on. Got to murk myself. Boop. Boom. We just got to spawn real quick. All right. So we're going to head over to Outpost real quick. And I want to point out some significant changes. Jeez. Get a life, bro. My, oh my gosh, dude. It's like you don't sleep. What is this, Ark 2.0? Must have turrets on each tower to get the most electricity from the wind. Jeez. No sleep, eating Twinkies and drinking Mountain Dew. That's that life right there. Anyways, with Outpost, they've made some significant uh, terrain optimizations that I want to show you guys. Now, although they're subtle... I want to point out that when the PC uh, side got changed or got some of these implementations of optimization around the outpost, what happened was is they started to put some of those little gambling uh, like um, assets into the outpost. And one of those familiar gambling spots was the caboose that sits actually right here. I've noticed since they've got the ring road system put in that this looks a little bit different. A lot more optimized, a little bit more shiny, 
and all that's missing is a caboose where you can gamble with and do blackjack. You could do Texas Hold'em and a slew of other things. I think they're going to be adding to the outpost, but that's not all. Okay, so gambling is in Rust in general is a way to earn scrap, and it's really easy for a solo duo and trio to come up real quick in order to succeed, right, and get more blueprints. I wanted to show you one more thing that's really noticeable. I know a lot of people have been harping on this, and uh, there's been a bunch of liars out there saying you can do this now, but I noticed that the road signs have actually changed and become more detailed. What does that mean for you guys? Well, for solos, duos, and trios, what it means, it's an easier way. Once, once we're able to farm these guys, it's an easier way to get pipes, right, and road sign. Now, you get either one or two per yield on the PC side. If you could do that here, it would be an easy way to farm the roads for scrap if you go ahead and recycle them in the recycler in the outpost or bandit camp or wherever you can find a safe spot to recycle it. Or it's an easy way to make kits, like roadside kits. And it's an also easier way to get pipes for like your shotguns and your rockets. So I noticed that these changed significantly recently. And that was after the PTP update. With that being said, I think we're going to be seeing some of these sweet updates in the near future. When that is, I absolutely don't know. But I would like to see it pretty soon because honestly as a solo duo or trio to be able to farm these road signs on the side of the road it is a huge way to get high qual and it's an awesome way to get pipes for weapons in general but with that being said what do you guys think about all this information what do you guys think about those changes and what do you think about the caboose cards slots slots coming in and the scrap update which we can farm road signs. Give me your comment and your opinion down below when you think that'll be coming. I think that since we got the terrain boost, honestly, you could see this pop up at any moment randomly. Because if they're working on, if Double Eleven's working on a big project in the background or big content, obviously, to fit something in between, this would be a good little tandem jump to have one of these updates come in while we're waiting for like modular cars or the underwater lab or subs and tugs <laughs> tugs anyways but let me know what you think in the comment section below uh this is the secrets unveiled for the rust council edition obviously if you guys are new to the channel drop that sub and like and hit that notification bell for the most up-to-date and rust <laughs> up-to-date and recent rust council edition news jeez and hopefully we can see some of these changes come in sooner rather than later all right, well, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all your guys' support. I'll see you in the next video. What's up, tough guy? You want peace of me? Want peace of me? No, I'm just kidding. Bye.